AI has emerged as this incredible, powerful tool that allows us to identify patterns in data. I look at having these AI tools similarly to having a friend who's helping you with a physics assignment. They can see things in the data that I lack the capacity to see. And actually, in this case, it's even beyond what human capabilities are. Our classical frameworks of physics struggle describing the physics of living systems, this dynamic, explosive process. And so the idea is to use machine learning as a tool to help get an understanding of those systems. I am a behavioral geneticist, and what I do is I study the functions of genes that affect animal behavior. The genes of an animal, they are static, they stay the same. But what doesn't stay the same is how much of those genes are being made into proteins, which then have a certain function in the cell. It's what we call transcription, and epitranscriptomics affects biological function and behavior and disease. Evolution has allowed biological systems to optimize in a lot of different ways. And understanding how those optimization problems have been solved is crucial. Studying genetics, where we're dealing with bigger and bigger data sets of DNA and RNA sequencing, we are looking for patterns. So this is something that has to be done computationally. Think about designing tiny machines, like the molecular machines in your cells, that can perform ultra-efficiently. And so I think there's a lot of untapped potential in turning it toward those types of problems.